These islands are really truly parishes. Even on other islands, and especially on the mainland, if you don't like the church that's down the road, you just drive a bit farther. And here that's not an option. If you live on these islands, you'll probably be coming to the island church. And that means that the island church can't really get as political or as driven by the forces of change on the outside. It has to listen to the people who are here on the island. Well, I'm Pastor Tom Powell, and I serve the Cranberry Isles as the resident minister. That means that I serve uh, the Congregational Church on Cranberry Island and the Congregational Church on Islesford. And I've been out here for about a year, and I live on Great Cranberry, and I go back and forth. Probably six times a, a week I'm, I'm on the boat going back and forth between the two islands. These islands, not everyone of course goes to church on Sunday, but everyone has needs I can care for or help facilitate. Uh, some of them are practical, so my wife and I are seeking to get our EMT training. Uh, just being present in the community. We now have regular services every Sunday, whereas it used to be once every three or four weeks in the winter time. And so especially in the winter, that's very nice for folks to be able to get together, not only for the spiritual needs, but for coffee hours and to just uh, socialize. And uh, uh, that's, that's very important too, I mean, especially for the older folks. In serving two churches, I serve two distinct churches. Both of them are congregational, that means they're ruled by the congregation, the members of the church. But I serve as a Presbyterian, and many of the members are from other traditions. Part of what I try to do is not to create kind of a watered-down service, but try to create a service where each part kind of has something that resonates with their tradition. Uh, I can never be a Baptist, per se, but I can embrace certain aspects that they cherish or in, in style of song or worship. I'm trying to create a unified and union church. Can't please everybody, but you can try and at least have an open hand towards everybody, and that's what I'm trying to do. It's team sports season. It's football season. It's baseball season. Without a team, you can't have team sports. You can't play football by yourself. And it's that in which the church shares, that we go forth together, that we go forth as a team. It isn't just you and I as individual atoms that express Christianity, but Christianity is a community activity. Certainly faith is personal, but that Christian faith that we've come to know is one that brings us together into community. We come together to worship, to grow, to be. Ministry of Presence involves sometimes not being overt about being there, not wearing the collar, not coming as the minister, but simply coming as a person, a part of the community, and then being there when they need spiritual care. So they know where they can go. Having been a long-term summer resident on Vinyl Haven and visited North Haven and Matinicus and a number of the outer islands, living on it year-round is a striking change and you begin to experience the islands in a very deep way, and you begin to realize that there's affinities between all the islands, outer islands. And I think that's part of what makes the islands of Maine so rich. And so it's kind of fun as someone who's visited a number of them to eat a wonderful meal on one island and then go to another and have a hospitality that's just deep and welcoming, and to go to another and you know, meet the very well-educated lobstermen and engage in these different island experiences. And I think it's one of the most beautiful things that Maine's islands have to offer is this diversity. I'm glad to be part of an island and two islands because I get to see the same things as well.